All right, North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un could be going for the gold, agreeing to a rare meeting with South Korea ahead of next month's Winter Olympics. President Trump now weighing in on his tough stance, bringing them to the table. Listen. I would love to see them take it beyond the Olympics. I'd like to see them getting involved in the Olympics, and maybe things go from there. Uh, so I'm behind that 100 percent. I always believe in talking. Do you think? But we have a very firm stance. Right now, they're talking Olympics. It's a start. It's a big start. If I weren't involved, they wouldn't be talking about Olympics right now. Here to react, Fox News contributor Lieutenant Colonel Michael Walls. He's a retired Green Beret and author of Warrior Diplomat. He joins us now to break it all down. So, uh, Colonel, what look, it looks like an opportunity. Talking can be good, but talking's been used by the North as well to slow walk this process and get concessions. So what do these talks that are beginning this week and could potentially go through the Olympics, what do they mean? Yeah, Pete. So this is a this is a play right out of the North Korean regime's playbook. You know, they wait till pressure is really dialed up. They get away with as much as they can in terms of advancing their program and other activities, their nuclear program. And then once it gets too harsh, then we open the door against to talks and to dialogue and to dial it back down again so they can buy more time. We've seen this with the six party talks under the Bush administration. We saw it uh, with the Clinton administration in the 1990s. Uh, peace accord. So I'm concerned and I'm very skeptical. That said, it is the right policy to kind of take a pause for the Olympics. It is the Olympics after all. Sure. I was, you know, I remember the boycotts of the Soviets and the Americans in the 80s. And let's let's take a collective pause. My fear and my concern is on the back end. I'd like to see the joint military exercises that we suspended and the pressure dial right back up. And we have to kind of keep our foot on the neck of the North Korean economy and on and with the Chinese, for that matter, to get them to stop this program. You, Colonel, you say you're a little concerned, though, that the South Koreans could be yeah. re-implementing the sunshine policy of past right. progressive presidents there, President Moon, sort of softening toward North Korea. So if South Korea decides to talk to and be softer with North Korea, but we take a tough stance, do those things work against each other? Yep. Yeah, right now, right now, the South Koreans, you know, President Moon and, of course, President Trump, the South Korean and the Americans are on the same page through this, you know, through this Olympic period, the end of February, where there could be a problem is if Moon wants to continue talks and even start making concessions. The sunshine policy in the past opened up trade. It opened up aid, uh, aid shipments. It established an industrial zone up in North Korea. And if we do that too soon, then we're going to give the North Koreans a exactly what they want, which is to ease back on the pressure and allow them to continue to advance the program. So the key here is that we have preconditions before any talks, that they're absolutely going to denuclearize, shut down the program. And what we're talking about is how to implement that, not what concessions we're going to make. Colonel, with, with, with all the variables at play right now, yeah. do, are you optimistic at all that de denuclearization is possible? Well, again, as we've talked about many times, it's up to the Chinese. Uh, we have seen some positive steps from the Chinese. Uh, we have seen some cutting of, uh, of imports. But then again, we were also talking about the black market, the ships that mm -hmm. were transferring um, oil and gas. So we haven't seen nearly enough. And, and I'm still very concerned about this issue. Yeah, 2018, a make or break year on that peninsula. It absolutely. For, it's going to sure. come to a head, Pete. Lieutenant for sure. Colonel Michael Waltz, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. All right. It. Thanks so much.